up everybody it's your girl Drea O and as you know I'm everywhere you go and right now I'm sitting down with Made in Tokyo what's going on, what's going on? so the first time I heard about you my friend called me and, and was raving about your single Uber Everywhere mm. and I heard it and I was like this I love this it's crazy because at one time I was Ubering everywhere and mm -hmm. I thought it was way more affordable than taking a cab mm -hmm. how did you come up with the concept behind the song well I was um I was high. <laughs> um, to be honest. Of what? We gotta. You know, we were smoking. Okay. We were smoking. I don't, I don't smoke no cigarettes. It, was it wasn't no Reggie, Uber. was it? Nah, we don't do Reggie. I don't. I don't do no mid. Okay. No, I just no, sure. real, real gas. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I was high. I was in my kitchen. And, okay. Um, where the studio setup was, portable studio on the north side, going at Lawrenceville. Mm. Yeah. And um. I was just like, honestly, at first it was just a verse. Mm -hmm. It was a verse and I was just like, yo, North Side, cool. And you know, when you from, when artists get labeled, when you come out of Georgia, you automatically are ATL. Mm -hmm. If you live there and your music come out of there, mm -hmm. you from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I already know that they gonna get me hell. Like any Atlanta artist, like, he ain't from Atlanta. Uh. He ain't from Atlanta. I was like, you know what? My first line, North Side, Cool and Shorty, yeah, that's where I stay. Right. And I don't need yeah, nobody saying it. that's where I'm at. So yeah. it's like, like really, I just did that, and I had a line in there. I was like, because I don't, I don't whip, I don't got an L's, and I was like this. I don't want to front and tell you that I'm pulling up in this and whatever. And I was just like, you know what, over everywhere. <laughs> I was like this, and I'm talking. I'm high. I'm like pre rolls in my vip. If I'm in the vip or whatever, half of the time we in Atlanta or we in a vip at, at Follies, or Magic City. One of your homies got the gas and he got the. And hopefully he already got it rolled up. I just had a pre rolls ready, bro. Don't be the dude like this. <laughs> trying to roll up the guy and trying to trying to like get it together, you know, have it ready. So, you know, it was just I was just having fun. It was a vibe. My little brother Miles was right there and he told me, Yo, you need to put another verse on this. You gotta finish this and I only had one verse and then for, for almost a whole like almost a month it was just one verse. And then he was like, Yo, you gotta put you gotta put it in there and I was like, Alright, I'm gonna write another verse. I wrote the other verse. I sent this song out to a couple of people. It was rocking with it. I sent it to my homie Matt, um, who used to work at Fader. Now he works at the New Yorker, and um, he po he told me like this song's gonna go. And this was like before it was even out. And I was like, man, you just like the first record I sent you, you know? Like he was like, no, like this is gonna go. He's like, I get an Uber every day, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, all right, you know, like whatever. He posts it on on Fader. And this is after he already had posted my first, like, the I Want record that I had. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, this, yo, you got another one. You're not just, you know, like, one record dude. Like, you got jam. Send me more. And it became to where it was just a friendship. I was sending him records. He was telling me about it. So, you know, like, Uber just came along just as it came just in time where everybody is getting hit to Ubers. Yeah, Uber's the new thing. Has, has Kylie Jenner co-signed it yet? Has she Snapchatted yes. dancing to it yet? She's, um, she's Snapchatted about I like knew three it. times. I knew it. I was just Three worried. times. Yeah. I did a couple of shows. Um, I actually did um, about like six shows uh -huh. on the Tiger Tour and she was there at all of them, most of them, and she was Snapchatting it. <laughs> and um, I ended up meeting her actually and she was telling me that was her theme song. Uh, so like, it's dope. It's dope to actually, for all the hate that I feel like she get on her lips, it's dope to actually have positive coming out. Cause I'm not no negative person. I'm mm -hmm. super positive. And I'm, I see so many people go in and be like, oh, her lips like that. Blah blah. Right. I do the video now. I got hella young girls. They're like sending me Snapchats talking about with them Kylie Jenner, Jenner lips. lips. <laughs> like with it, like and it's and it's a it's a thing now where. They want to be able to say that yep. and put their lips out so it's dope. Like, there's a lot of girls that's already trying to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they're trying to do that. They they bring you, like, you going to have hate. Yeah. You're going to have hate regardless what you do. You put yourself out there. You doing these interviews, you're going to have hella girls hating you. Like, you oh, she thinks she out there. What she thinks she doing? She from, um, this base out of Chicago. She, what she doing <laughs> in New York? Like, blah, blah, Like, you out here moving. Yeah. It's like, you know, so, um, Kylie is dope. Like, she show love, and that's 
before that, like I thought she was dope. And then to meet somebody that's that big and have people really, you know, looking at you and having the biggest Snapchat or the biggest Instagram and to be like, I like your music, it's dope. Like it's it's that's awesome. Love. That's love. So the name Made in Tokyo, you're from Tokyo. Were you born there or did you just spend time there? I spent like six years there. I was born in Hawaii. What was it like as a black man in Tokyo? Are there a lot of black people? There's a lot of black people. Really? It's like Tokyo, Tokyo, like the city Tokyo. Mm -hmm. um, Tokyo is like New York. What did you do for fun out mm, there? I was skating. skating. Uh, like I was skating. I was. Um, I used to ride the train and listen to music. Like for real, I used to listen to beats and just like get lost. And hip hop's like, really go. big out yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I remember, matter of fact, for fun. I remember um, at the time, I was talking to this Japanese chick. And um, her name's um, Mio or whatever. And like, I haven't talked, like that was so long ago. But I remember her taking me to a Japanese, um, like with everything was Japanese over there. She took me to this club. And there's nothing but Japanese. There's no black people. There's no other race but Japanese people. And she used to, um, she had a crumping um, crew what where they crump. Crump. <laughs> So like, I'm talking about a crumping going off, like serious attitude, like going off. And my Dougie comes on. Uh, my Dougie? Why my does everybody look at me? <laughs> everybody looks at me like, like he oh, knows what like, he's doing. Yeah, like, you know, and there was one dude with a with a high top fade, a grill. He had. He had sauce, and he's like this. He's going off. He's dug in. He, oh, wow. He's dug in like if he was straight from D Town. Like he oh, knew man. all the moves, and uh, he's looking at me like, like what's up? Let's right, go. Battle. Let's get it. <laughs> and so after that, after that, I'm like, oh now I got a show. This is before I was performing, mm -hmm. and I felt like this was a performance. Mm -hmm. I'm like this. Yo, it don't even matter how good I am with this Dougie. They want to see it. They love it. I hit the Dougie. She's happy, everybody's <laughs> screaming, they taking pictures. <laughs> I leave from there or whatever, but like that whole vibe, that's the stuff. I used to go to different clubs, listen to different music from EDM. Are they dabbing out there now? Probably. I Do you keep been, in contact been, with your friends? I haven't been friends? out there in four years, but I've seen videos of Japanese dudes dabbing. And there's an artist yeah. named Ko who hit me up that's doing his thing out in Japan and he wants to do a remix to one of my records. Oh, that's so, dope. So Please so cross. Yeah. So I see you got the hand tats. How do you keep them fresh? Because I got this tat. Look at I just got this. It's horrible. I probably. I just, I just oh, you just got, just got it? I just okay. got it. You see, it's kind of raising up a little bit. They, but did they tell you not to do it? Because they told me not to do it. They're like, you're going to wash your hands every day. It's going to fade. My project is called You Are Forgiven. Uh -huh. And I feel like everybody from, from you got radio, you got people that interview you, you have all these people that probably told you that you couldn't do mm -hmm. it or that you wasn't going to be that person. Mm -hmm. And you could be like uh f you then blah blah whatever but i'm like it's cool you could you could you can um you could dub me now and then later you like it's cool you're forgiven right so it's like i got forgiven on my hand to remind me everybody that did shit on me it's cool mm -hmm. it's all right like you're forgiven and mm -hmm. we're gonna keep moving because when somebody like if you just on somebody and they're like it's cool you're looking at him already crazy like i don't want to talk to this dude he crazy he just told me it was good like mm -hmm. after i just dubbed him right i push the positive vibe you know you can get the ratchet side of me but majority i'm pushing that positive vibe and any anybody could do it man and that's love you put out positive you get positive back so. mm -hmm. thank you so much for sitting down with it's me all love, man. where can everybody follow you on instagram twitter facebook everything is made in tyo but it's made in tokyo but if you're trying to type it online, it's made in TYO. Is that a playoff being made in China? Um, no, it's um, it's just like I felt like that's what I was made. Like it's cool made in China, but you know, I, uh, uh, it was. But at the same time, too, I wanted I wanted my name to sound like a a producer name or a rock band or something else where you don't know if it's a group of kids coming in here. It's made in Tokyo. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It's like Party Next Door, The Weekend. Right, right. Like, you got different names. Like I mean, it's a very Travis different Porter, name. You know, like, like, you know, like, different names that's yes. catchy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I'm Dre L. I'm signing out. Sauce. <laughs>